How the hell did you go about just managing your day at the height of things, maybe compared to when you were just like maybe a bit more all over the place and like, what, yeah. what did your day plan look like on that when you were like 16, six and a half? Yeah, week. it's a really good question. I'd love to have a really good answer to this. <laughs> just, just give us what, <laughs> yeah, just what a typical day would look like. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, I guess at that point, it's probably very resourcing heavy. Okay. Because we kind of had, to, like, we'd got to a point where we'd won the clients and needed to win. Yeah, yeah. So it's very much just 100 miles an hour trying to kind of like fill the jobs. There was a lot of kind of meetings with clients discussing like, right, like this demand or like this project coming up. Mm. I guess at my peak of billing was the time I had like the biggest team from a management perspective. Right, okay. So, so I guess like 2021, well if when I had my kind of best book, but that's when we kind of grew the team and I was managing the most people. So a lot of, I guess, was like checking in with the team, making sure that everyone had... How, but how did you manage that with all that? That's what a lot of people struggle with. Yeah. Like, did you set boundaries with the team? Did you like, like, how did you go about making sure like all your time didn't get obviously it should hopefully benefit you and everyone else involved yeah. in the long term but you're responsible for that and like you said you clearly take your reputation seriously mm. how did you manage that whilst also growing and managing the team time wise i want to say like lucky but i guess we've done it kind of like time and time again but whenever we interview people we try and get people on like the upward trajectory of their careers yeah yeah and it's quite hard to like know who is like an sr2 person quite mm. hard to kind of like define it but i think we've done a really good job of hiring people most of them have been experienced yeah but that are like motivated that wants to do well and they're like a kind of good humans so they've got kind of like good values and stuff so i think hiring people that have got experience putting them into this environment kind of showing them what's possible showing them standard like yeah. But getting them to become like an industry specialist and then I guess like kind of delegating responsibility yeah, to people yeah, yeah. and empowering them and so obviously people, with it if you're getting them on that upward trajectory they they probably value your autonomy quite a lot don't they yeah absolutely and they're super motivated they want to do well but I think we just kept like delegating and empowering people and kind yeah, of giving yeah. them responsibility yeah. so it's not about me at all it's mm. about everyone else and everyone else has kind of like managed their own stuff and obviously I check in and kind of help and sitting on calls and meetings and stuff but you kind of want to get to a point whereby you almost don't need to be there and the team's like actually yeah, kind of yeah. managing itself and if someone's having a tricky call someone's going to jump in and be like actually this is how we do things or this we yeah, should do yeah, this yeah, yeah.